today's video, I'm going to be doing the cancer doing the cancer season inspired makeup look so it's cancer season yay for all the cancers out there so yeah that's what i'm gonna be doing today if you're interested or you just want to see a fun little colorful look then make sure you keep on watching before we keep watching make sure you subscribe down below for more videos like this this is the second video that i have of the zodiac series so um, i do have the gemini and i will put a little thing up here so you can see that if you are interested in this, in this series so yeah let's go ahead and get started i will just have to say this with every video just in case i get new people i'm gonna be using this book um it's called the only astrology book that you need and then also this one the astrology using the wisdom of the stars in your everyday life so i had i took notes from both of these books and then that's the information that i'm gonna be sharing with you guys okay so you're all zoomed in now cancer season begins from june 22nd to july 22nd cancer is subtle sensitive yet canny and tenacious too as its animal symbol suggests a harsh shell protects a vulnerable interior negative cardinal water has a receptive nature and the instinct to act on emotion. The polarity is negative, uh, mode is cardinal, element is water. So the ruling planet is the moon, so all my moon children out there. And then the parts of the body are the breasts and the stomach. So the sun in Cancer. Your life purpose is to find your tribe and to develop a central role as a caregiver within it. Your life revolving around some form of family, whether personal or professional. I guess like the opposite of you is Capricorn. So they're like the complete opposite. But that doesn't mean you don't get along because obviously you can get along with people who are complete opposites of you. It's not that I don't get along with Cancers. It's just that at first I feel like I'm somebody who's very like first impressions. You know, like the first impressions matter to me the most. Like I've never mistaken like somebody's vibe that i'm like oh like i don't know like there's something about them and then at the end like they end up doing something bad like this like energy from people you know so with cancers like i often feel like their shell kind of gives me like not a bad vibe but like they don't want you to talk to them you know friend who is a cancer she doesn't live here but i've known her since i was in eighth grade so i've known her i've known her for like 10 years so yeah she's like my best friend she's getting married in july i'm very excited about that i'm so happy she lives like six hours away from me but actually i don't know what else she um she is like i'm gonna do her birth chart if she lets me um i don't know if she believes in all that because we've never talked about that me she definitely has like either like a capricorn or like a taurus in her ascendant or moon like i don't know i feel it I feel it. They're like she's always, always had like this like, not philosophical, but she's just like, dude, like, I don't know. She has just very deep feelings about certain things and I never understood it, you know, and now I'm like, oh, that makes so much sense. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you were a cool cancer. Just kidding. I've been dating my boyfriend for three years and he's been friends with my, with my cousin's boyfriend for like a long time so like i had always wanted my cousin to date him like since i started dating my boyfriend like i would always like tell him about him and so finally as an archer i was able to be cupid and <laughs> get them together so now they're dating like it's funny because like my boyfriend doesn't believe he's a capricorn so he doesn't believe in any of the zodiac stuff like none of the birth chart like no he's like no it's too big too general your typical Capricorn. My cousin and I do believe in this stuff. So like we recently got like Larry, uh, her boyfriend, like into it. So I'm like, dude, we're gonna like make our own cult and stuff. So like cancers often have like that little shell of theirs. And like sometimes to me it comes off standoffish. But I'm like, but then I'm like, okay, no, like it's fine. Like, like maybe that's, that's just the way they are, you know? Fair enough, like I've met a lot of cancers who I don't like, but I've also met a lot of cancers who I do like. And I had this girl for class, her name is Celeste, um, but she's a cancer. I, and like I follow her on Instagram, on Twitter, and she's so awesome. Like I admire her so much, like I want to be her when I grow up, even though I think I'm older than her. <laughs> I guess it depends if they're evolved or not. Evolved cancers are great. Unevolved cancers... 
Híjole, I don't know about that All one. of the books uh, suggested something like the color of the moon. Moon or emerald green, which I was like, I, I don't know. To me, that's kind of more like a Taurus color. I didn't want to do blue for cancer because, I mean, it is a water sign, so it makes sense. But I just kind of wanted to leave the blues for Pisces and... Um, I can do this, yeah. Wanna. This this is a Fame palette from ColourPop, so I'm gonna start with this um, shade right here. It's called Extravaganza. So I'm gonna go into this palette. I'm gonna take this gray shade called Pecan, Pecan Praline. Okay, so now I'm going to go into this gray shade right here. So I'm going to go into Clubhouse, which is this shade right here. Use this one right here. It's like a dark brown. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease and then I will be right back. This is the cut crease. I have the pigment here from the ColourPop pigment. And I'm just gonna spray it with the Ofra setting spray. Oh! I think that was a bad idea. Okay, so let's read a little bit more. They act on instinct with drawing into their shell if they sense danger. So that's one thing. So I worked with some cancers and I felt like they were so impulsive sometimes and impulsive people sometimes get to me because I'm impulsive but I kind of also think through it very much. Like I'm not an overthinker but I kind of like do want to think about consequences. So I Powerful intuition. I feel like that's very true. I feel like they're very intuitive people. Be like, no, I have a feeling about this. Or like, they can easily p pick up on atmosphere and feeling. They'll pick up if somebody's like, hey, like what's wrong with that person and like things like that. And then um, the some negative traits, I guess, would be easily heard, can lash out, or become emotionally manipulative, uh, but defensive posture when in state of stress. Or anxiety. Emotions often take pre precedence over rational sense, closing ranks when challenged by unfamiliar situations. I'm gonna go ahead and use Clubhouse. I'm gonna go back to this one and then I'm gonna take this Earl Grey shade um, and I'm just gonna make like an eyeliner type of deal. Like take some uh, like a blue shade from here so I'm gonna take the darkest one this one right here clued in okay so I have this it's called lucky penny and it's kind of like a minty shade and I think it would look very very pretty tell me it's dry I'm pretty sure this shit is dry up Oh yeah, so just like this, okay. I personally think it looks pretty, pretty, but I don't know. I mean, if you hate it, I'm sorry that Nova shadow dried out so bad. Okay, so let me just read to you a few more things. It says it's complex, fragile unpredictable temperamental the typical cancerian needs constant support and encouragement you want desperately to be loved and approved but resent needing approval approval so badly so um i'm just gonna go ahead after i do my face makeup i'm gonna do the greek mythology and then towards the end i'm gonna tell you a few can cancer celebrities
um, I think with the mascara and everything, it's coming together. But, oh shit, my bad. According to Greek myth, Cancer was a giant crab named Creos. I think that's how you pronounce it. Who guarded the sea nymphs of Poseidon's kingdom. He was enormous and immortal and took his role of protector very seriously. One day, a few sea nymphs escaped and Creos sent a giant squid named Bamari to retrieve them. The squid devoured them instead and he returned. Creos fought him to death. Afterward, the crab was crippled and in terrible pain. To repay him for his heroism, Poseidon relieved Creos of his pain by placing him in the sky as a constellation Cancer. From the sky, Cancer reminds us of the deer crab's protectiveness, care, and vulnerable strength. So I thought hit the Greek mythology for Cancer was very, very interesting. So I'm actually going to take this shade right here, it's called Blaze. Of the blue as well, just because I want a little bit of blue. This shade Lumi from this Blue Moon uh, palette by Colourpop. They just came out with the yellow one and it looks so freaking pretty. I want to get it so bad. So, and I was so mad because I was like, wow, like I could have probably gotten that for the Gemini makeup look. But uh, Leo is next. So take a little bit of the Cancer from the Zodiac palette by Clipop. Because uh, I don't want it to be, I want it to be blue, of course, but I also want it to have like some... Pink. So I'm just gonna do lipstick and I'm gonna do what's your sign and I'm gonna do the lip liner um, sugar glass This is the final look wrap it up with some um, honorable mentions from celebrities so I was gonna say that my girl Lana Del Rey um, she was actually born July July 21st at 2 a.m. but whatever she was born in the summer solstice so that means she's like a cusp between Gemini and um, Cancer so she was just a few uh, hours away from being a Cancer which I thought was very, very interesting because uh, to me, she gives me cancer vibes, like her music and everything. So we would have to know her moon and her rising, but I'm just saying. So yeah, I just wanted to mention Lana Del Rey. Um, Alexander the Great was a cancer. Louis Armstrong, uh, Bill Cosby, Tom Cruise. That's why he always has to yell in his... Um, movies so he can let it all out. Princess Diana was also a cancer. Um, Tom Hanks, he gives me major ca cancer vibes. Like, not in a weak sense, just like soft people, you know, like people, nice people, if that makes any sense. Um, Frida, my girl, Frida Kahlo. <sighs> my boyfriend's mom gave me this from, I'm um, pretty sure this was... I don't know if she got this from um, the MoMA or something, but she got it for me. I freaking love Frida Kahlo. And honestly, when I found out she was a cancer, I was, I never thought about it, but it makes sense. The way she like thought, like she was just so deep and so like philosophical and uh, I love Frida Kahlo. Um, Helen Keller, Robin Williams. It makes me so sad because to me, he always had such a sad, sad face. <sighs> May he rest in peace. I don't know. It, it, it was just so sad to hear that he 
had to go that way. Um, Ed West Westwick, my boy Chuck <laughs> from Gossip Girl. Oh my god, like he's so hot. Uh, Meryl Streep. She is such a good actress. She also comes out in Big Little Lies. If you haven't seen it, I don't know what you're waiting for. It's so good. She's such a good actress. Last but not least, is that how you say his name? Toffer Grace? Or it's Eric from that 70s show. Super major can survives. He's like so soft. Like, I don't know. I... He's funny, like I feel like after that 70s show, like I cannot take him serious anywhere else because he was always like so like sarcastic. That's everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something new about cancer. But yeah, I hope I hope I don't disappoint my cancers. I don't know. If I did, I'm sorry. I really did try, okay? So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and you like this video. Hit that notification bell so you can get notified when I upload my next Zodiac series, which I'm going to be doing every two weeks. So, yeah, Leo is next. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video, and hopefully I can see you on the next one.